Welcome to another RMS support tutorial. Today we will discuss the basics of getting started with RMS3 in both government and contractor mode. Our objectives today will be the overview of the RMS3 application, how to install RMS3, and how to log into the application for the first time. Then for contractor mode, installing RMS3, creating an account, and lastly logging in. Now let's get started. The Resident Management System, RMS, is a user-friendly, comprehensive system for the expedient and effective management of construction contracts through tracking and documentation of all facets of United States Army Corps of Engineers contracts. RMS is an automated construction management and quality assurance information system that is PC-based and client-server oriented. RMS is a quality management and contract administration program designed by resident engineers. The system provides an effective method to plan, schedule, and control all aspects of construction. We will now demonstrate how to install RMS from the RMS website. To do so, open a web browser and navigate to rms.usace.army.mil. Now click on the tile that says Get RMS 3.0 Now GOV. This should automatically download a zipped RMS3 launcher. For more information on how to install RMS3 through the app portal, please see the link in the description box below. Open the zip folder and click the Extract All button. The window will allow you to choose the destination for the extracted content. Click Extract. A new window should pop up showing the extracted launcher. Double click to open. Now proceed with the setup location and click next. It is recommended that the default locations are kept. Navigate to the newly installed RMS3 folder and double click the RMS3 launcher icon. RMS should start automatically downloading the most recent patch updates. This should only take about a minute or two depending on your network. Now you should be taken to the RMS3 login screen. In the RMS application, if you have an approved RMS account and you are signing in with your CAC card, the RMS software will automatically read your CAC if inserted. Since there are no passwords for CAC card login, instead the login will prompt you with your CAC's PIN. If your CAC does not display, click the refresh button. We will demonstrate how the login works. Click on the login button, select your certificate, then enter your PIN. Now you may enter your district from the map view by clicking on the district icon. Now we've made it to the contract selection view where we can select our contracts and begin working. We will now demonstrate installing RMS3, creating an account, and logging in for contractor mode. Just like the government installation, Navigate to the rms.usace.army.mil website and click on the Get RMS 3.0 Now KTR tile. Proceed with the same installation directions as demonstrated before. Once the launcher has been installed, double click the RMS launcher icon to launch the program. To create a new account, click on the New Users to create an account tile. You can now begin filling out the information for your account. Start with your first and last name, followed by your email address. Then create a unique password by using the complexity requirements below. You could also use any of the random generated passwords listed by selecting the example of your choice, then pressing Ctrl C on your keyboard to copy the password, then pressing Ctrl V to paste the password into the password field as well as the password confirmation field. Make sure you safeguard this password properly. You may save this password to an encrypted document to your computer for reference. After you have filled out all the information, click the Create Account button to finish. Your account is now created and will need to be registered. You will now be taken to the account verification screen. A registration code will be sent to the provided email. Be sure to check the filtering rules and spam folders if you cannot find the emails. Once we find the email, copy the verification code and paste it into the RMS system. Then click Submit Registration Code. Verification success will display if the code has been entered properly. Then to log in with your credentials, click on the tile. If you do not have a DoD issued smart card, click here. Then enter your username, which is the email used when creating your account. Then use the password that you created or copied. Then click the login button. It is important to note that you should contact your core representative for access to your specific contract. Give them the email you use when creating your account so that they may grant you access to the contract. RMS will then prompt you to register this computer to your account. An email will be sent to you with a needed verification code. Once received, copy the code from the email and then paste it into RMS as we've done before for the account verification. After the verification has been successful, re-enter your email and password, then click Login. Once logged in, you'll see the Prime Contractor Selection View. Here you will see a list of Prime Contractors that your account has been added to. If your account has been added to the Prime Contractor and you do not see a Prime Contractor listed, click on the Update button to refresh the list. To see your contracts, double-click the Prime Contractor where your contract resides in. Now on the Contractor Selection View, you may select the contract and begin working in RMS3. In summary, in government mode, we covered the overview of RMS3, how to install RMS3, and how to log in using a CAC. In contractor mode, we discussed how to install RMS3, how to create an account, and how to log into the application. We hope you found this video informative and thank you for watching.